I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. I don't know who to believe. I don't understand yeah. it. And I do not know. I don't know who to believe, and I think you'd have to go over there and do... You'd have to spend a lot of time to try to figure this out. Recently, scientists unearthed a cave that had been sealed for millions of years, and what they found left them astonished. You might be pondering what secrets a cave with a million years of history might conceal. However, it's fascinating how life has a knack for thriving in the most unexpected places. And it's not limited to just this cave. Numerous ancient mysteries are concealed within Earth's caves. Come along with us as we embark on a journey to explore 15 astonishing discoveries made in the depths of these caverns. But what might these findings entail? Could they include ancient artifacts, remnants of long-lost civilizations, or perhaps entirely new species? Let's dive in and discover the answers. 15. Movil Cave, Romania, a cave that had been sealed off for 5.5 million years, was recently opened by a team of researchers. This cave, known as the Movil Cave, presents an inhospitable environment characterized by the absence of sunlight and the presence of toxic air. Despite these challenging conditions, an astonishing ecosystem thrives within its depths. The initial discovery of the Movil Cave dates back to 1986 when it was stumbled upon by workers in search of a suitable location for a nuclear power plant. Subsequently, access to the cave has been strictly regulated by authorities. The heart of the Movil Cave unveils an environment unlike any other on our planet. The cave's air contains less than half the oxygen found in the open air and is abundant in carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Furthermore, complete darkness has enveloped the cave for millions of years with no exposure to sunlight. The extreme and harsh conditions of the cave have piqued the interest of biologists who have delved into this captivating ecosystem. In a 1996 study conducted by a team of biologists from the University of Cincinnati, they identified 48 species within the cave, with an astonishing 33 of them being unique to the Movil Cave. The inhabitants of the cave encompass various species, including spiders, pseudoscorpions, wood lice, centipedes, leeches, snails, and more. These cave-dwelling organisms have adapted to their lightless environment by losing their vision and pigmentation, as these traits are unnecessary in the absence of light. Instead, they have developed elongated limbs and antennae, enabling them to effectively navigate in the darkness. What adds to the fascination of the Movil Cave is its distinction as the first land-based ecosystem known to rely on chemosynthetic bacteria. While most ecosystems on Earth depend on photosynthesis to harness energy from sunlight, the bacteria within the cave derive energy and carbon through chemical reactions, such as the oxidation of sulfide or ammonium. In certain aspects, the ecosystem in the Movil Cave resembles the unique ecosystems found near hydrothermal vents in the depths of the ocean. However, it lacks the symbiotic relationships between chemoautotrophic microbes and animals that are commonly observed in deep-sea vent communities. Despite decades of study and exploration of the cave, numerous enigmas remain hidden within its depths. Researchers believe that there are still countless undiscovered inhabitants, some of which may hold invaluable insights into evolutionary biology and the essence of life itself. This underscores that we have much left to discover about the potential habitats for life in the universe. If organisms can flourish under such severe conditions, it opens up the possibility of finding life in unexpected places on Earth and even within our solar system. 14. Extinct Bird In 1987, a team of archaeologists hailing from the Speleological Society of New Zealand made an extraordinary discovery, the claw of a long extinct bird, the MOA. However, this wasn't just any claw. It still bore the remains of muscles and flesh, a remarkable preservation of a creature long vanished from our planet. Moa birds were formidable inhabitants of New Zealand, with a total of eight different species. They ranged in size, with some resembling an average turkey, while others stood at an astounding 12 feet in height and weighed as much as 500 pounds. These birds were true giants of the avian world. The dating of the claw revealed its age to be approximately 3,300 years old, confirming its status as an ancient native of New Zealand. When images of this flesh-covered claw emerged on the internet, it ignited a frenzy on social media. People marveled at its appearance, which resembled something out of a science fiction movie. It's no surprise that the sight of a preserved relic from the distant past captured the imagination of the public. Even Mark Hamill famous for his role as Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, joined the conversation on Twitter. He humorously likened the claw to the hand of a rancor, a massive reptile-like alien creature from Return 
of the Jedi. This remarkable discovery not only sheds light on the history of New Zealand's avian inhabitants, but also reminds us of the incredible and awe-inspiring stories that can be uncovered from the depths of our planet's past. 13. Unearthing Ancient Culinary Treasures 17,000-year-old roasted vegetables who would have thought that 17,000-year-old roasted root vegetables could offer us intriguing insights into the dietary habits of our ancient ancestors? Deep within the border cave in South Africa, scientists made a surprising discovery. Charred vegetable fragments buried in layers of ash, marking the oldest roasted root vegetables ever found. This discovery challenges the notion that early humans subsisted solely on mammoth and saber-toothed tiger meat. Instead, it provides evidence of a well-balanced diet that combined both carbohydrates and proteins. Our ancient ancestors exhibited a remarkable culinary diversity that extended beyond just meat consumption. Uncovering this ancient culinary treasure was no easy feat. A dedicated team of researchers had to sift through numerous charred remnants and meticulously examine them under microscopes. Years of diligent detective work were required to identify the charred bits as rhizomes from the Hypoxus genus, which are subterranean plant stems, essentially hidden gems beneath the Earth's surface. You might be curious about the taste of these hypoxis rhizomes. They differ from your average potato and boast a yam-like flavor, providing a unique twist to the ancient diet. Evidently, early humans were drawn to the starchy goodness of these roasted vegetables, as suggested by the abundance of rhizome fragments found, indicating their regular consumption. This revelation dispels the misconception that our ancestors were exclusively carnivorous. It underscores their genuine appreciation for plant-based foods emphasizing the importance of dietary balance even for our ancient predecessors. It's worth noting that not all hypoxis rhizomes are the same. There's a distinct species called hypoxis Hemerocalidae, or the African potato, known for its bitter taste and its use in medicinal practices rather than as a food source. It's likely that the inhabitants of Border Cave feasted on a different species with white-fleshed rhizomes, such as Hypoxus angustifolia, which was far more palatable. 12. 17 5,000 year old stalagmite cave. In the southern regions of France, nestled within a cave, lies an extraordinary discovery. Rings of fire-scorched stalagmites dating back a staggering 175,000 years. It appears that our long-lost relatives, the Neanderthals, were quite the builders. This cave, located approximately 30 miles from Toulouse, France, offers a wealth of fascinating details that challenge our perceptions. Within this cave site, archaeologists unearthed around 400 stalagmites, meticulously arranged to form not just one, but two circular structures. The truly astonishing aspect is that these formations were positioned an astounding 1,102 feet into the cave. What was the nature of these structures? One of them was a perfect seven-foot circle, while the other had an unconventional oval shape measuring approximately 15 feet wide and 22 feet long. However, what truly perplexed researchers was the evidence of fire scorching on these formations. The question of why these rings were set ablaze remains a puzzle that continues to baffle experts. What makes this discovery truly mind-bending is the way it reshapes our understanding of Neanderthals. Previously, they were often depicted as simple cave dwellers. Yet, this revelation portrays them as sophisticated ancient architects with a higher level of organization and skill than we once credited them for. According to researchers, creating these structures was not the work of a single individual, but rather a collective effort involving social organization and teamwork. Imagine the conversations, planning, and assigned roles among Neanderthals. Some carried torches while others transported materials and meticulously arranged them, resembling a prehistoric construction project. The exact purpose of these structures remains uncertain. They might have served as temporary shelters or held spiritual significance for Neanderthals. However, it is abundantly clear that their construction demanded skill, organization, and an artistic eye. These Neanderthal individuals were indeed the architects of their time, demonstrating their parity with early humans in terms of technical expertise, hunting and fishing skills, and even artistic expression. This revelation showcases the unanticipated construction and creative flair of our ancient relatives, challenging our prior perceptions and emphasizing their remarkable abilities. 11. 9,000 Da's Year-Old Skeleton Imagine the surprise of discovering an ancient skeleton and learning that it's a direct relative from generations long past. This extraordinary scenario unfolded for a history teacher in England. In 1903, the remains of a 9,000-year-old skeleton were found in Cheddar, England, within a cave. 
Little did anyone know that this remarkable discovery would lead to a jaw-dropping revelation years later. Adrian Target, a history teacher who lived near Cheddar, would later be identified as the deceased skeleton's direct relative, spanning an incredible 300 generations. This astonishing connection earned the skeleton the title of the world's most distant confirmed relative. The link between the two was established through DNA analysis along the maternal line, showing that Adrian Target's genetic makeup closely matched that of the Cheddar Man, the oldest complete skeleton ever discovered in Britain. The Cheddar Man lived around 7,150 BC, predating the advent of agriculture. This genetic connection between a modern individual and an ancient ancestor raises thought-provoking questions about the preservation and continuity of human genetic heritage. This revelation emerged during the production of a TV series called Once Upon a Time in the West, which explored the archaeology of Somerset. DNA tests were conducted on 20 local individuals with ancestral ties to the region, and the analysis was performed by Oxford University's Institute of Molecular Medicine. The Gauff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, where the skeleton was initially found, holds great significance in unearthing Paleolithic human remains in England. This discovery provided valuable insights into early human agriculture and challenged previous assumptions about the spread of farming in Western Europe. The Cheddar Man's remains suggest a narrative of farming practices developing within the local population itself, contrary to the prevailing belief that farmers migrated from Eastern Europe. This revelation prompts a re-evaluation of the complex interactions and cultural exchanges that shaped human civilization in prehistoric times. The Cheddar Man's life would have been closely tied to the dense forests and abundant wildlife of his era. As a hunter-gatherer, he relied on hunting deer, rabbits, waterfowl, and possibly fish, in addition to foraging for nuts, fruits, and edible roots. Cheddar Gorge provided a secure environment for his community, likely consisting of extended families. Physically, the Cheddar Man wouldn't appear out of place in our modern world, closely resembling contemporary humans. His existence predated the dawn of agriculture and the transformative shifts it would bring to human societies. This remarkable familial link between the Cheddar Man and Adrian Target surpasses any previously recorded connections to distant ancestors. It illustrates the enduring threads that connect us to our ancient roots, spanning an awe-inspiring expanse of time. 10. The Giant Crystal Cave, Chihuahua, Mexico A cave full of crystals might sound like something out of a fantasy novel, but occasionally, our wildest imaginings find a place in reality. Deep beneath the Sierra de Nica mountain in Chihuahua, Mexico, there's a hidden wonder known as the Giant Crystal Cave. Nestled 984 feet underground, this cave is a mesmerizing realm adorned with extraordinary gypsum crystals that defy belief. These magnificent crystals take the form of colossal pillars and have silently grown undisturbed for over half a million years. Some of them are so vast that they stretch across the cave, leading people to compare this subterranean wonder to Superman's mythical fortress of solitude. Regrettably, this crystalline marvel is impossible for tourists to access due to the hazardous conditions within. The cave is humid and hot, making it challenging even for scientists to explore. The formation of these incredible crystals began nearly 26 million years ago, when regional fault lines allowed magma to ascend toward the Earth's surface, giving rise to the Sierra de Nica mountain. This geological process laid the foundation for the birth of the magnificent crystals. Groundwater subsequently flooded the cave for tens of thousands of years. This water was driven upward by a deeper magma chamber and contained a mineral called anhydrite. Anhydrite remains stable at temperatures above 136 degrees Fahrenheit, but dissolves and reforms as gypsum at lower temperatures, which is a reversible transformation. The presence of the magma chamber beneath the cave ensured that the water's temperature remained at an ideal level for this transformation to occur. However, as time passed, the water's temperature gradually dipped below the critical threshold of 136 degrees Fahrenheit. This shift caused the anhydrite to break down releasing calcium and sulfate into the water. These particles began to recombine and crystallize, forming a unique type of gypsum known as selenite. The cave became a mesmerizing realm of white-tinted selenite crystals. Immersed in water and shielded from drastic temperature changes, these crystals grew continuously, defying the bounds of time. The giant crystal cave stands as a breathtaking testament to the wonders that can be found deep within our planet. 9. Bird Carving in 2003, a remarkable discovery emerged from the depths of the Whole Fells Cave in Germany. A small bird carving, unlike any other. What makes this carving truly extraordinary is its age, surpassing 30,000 years and its material, 
carved from mammoth ivory. It is quite possibly the earliest representation of a bird ever found, a testament to the ancient origins of artistic expression. Beyond its impressive age, this carving holds special significance. It sheds light on migration patterns and the beliefs of our early human ancestors, providing a fascinating glimpse into the world of shamanism. This finely crafted piece unveils a unique representation, a water bird with the head of a horse and the majestic mane of a lion, an enchanting fusion of creatures. In shamanic practices, birds, particularly water birds, were revered symbols. And this carving stands as compelling evidence of that belief. What distinguishes this artwork is its lifelike quality. The intricate details, from the head and eyes to the gracefully stretched out neck, contribute to its realistic appearance. The artists behind this masterpiece, though lost to time, would surely be proud to know that their creation has become the oldest known representation of a bird ever discovered. However, Cependant, this bird was not alone. It was found alongside an owl figure in a cave in France. It appears that our early human ancestors held a fondness for avian art. While these carvings resemble the cave paintings created by our Neanderthal cousins, researchers have determined that early modern humans were responsible for these masterpieces. Carbon dating placed the creation of these artistic wonders somewhere between 28,000 to 35,000 years ago. Although these bird figurines may be small in stature, their historical and cultural significance is immense. They offer us a captivating window into the artistic expressions and beliefs of our ancient ancestors, fostering a deeper understanding of the past. 8. Altamura Man, a window into the enigmatic past. Hidden within the depths of an Italian cave lies a remarkable discovery that has unveiled the mysteries of our ancient relatives. Allow us to introduce you to Altamura Man, a 17,000-year-old skeleton found in the La Malunga Caves. This extraordinary finding, dating back to 1993, left researchers astounded. What made Altamura Man so extraordinary was that it marked the oldest known Neanderthal skeleton from which DNA could be successfully extracted. However, due to the fragile state of the skull and its entrapment within stalactites and stalagmites, conducting a comprehensive analysis proved to be quite challenging. As a precaution against causing any harm, the remains were left undisturbed. Yet, the story didn't end there. The breakthrough came when scientists managed to extract DNA from Altamura Man's right shoulder blade. These ancient molecules with a potential age of 170,000 years hold the promise of revealing a comprehensive and unprecedented insight into Neanderthal life. Altamura Man is no ordinary fossil. In fact, one of the paleontologists involved in the research described it as the most intact non-human skeleton ever found. Nearly all of the bony elements from head to toe have been remarkably preserved, granting us an unparalleled glimpse into our distant past. However, unraveling the mystery of Altamura Man's lineage presented its own set of challenges. While he displayed typical Neanderthal characteristics in the face and the back of the skull, there were also peculiarities that set him apart. Massive brow ridges, unlike those observed in other Neanderthals, complicated the identification process. Additionally, the skeleton remained partially encased in rock, further complicating the examination. Radiocarbon dating yielded astounding results, pinpointing the skeleton's age within a range of 130,000 to 170,000 years. It's important to note that while Altamura Man's remains are not the oldest Neanderthal fossils on record, they offer a unique and invaluable window into our understanding of our ancient relatives. 7. Translucent Snails Deep within the enigmatic Lucina Jama Trojama cave systems of Croatia, a group of cavers and biologists stumbled upon something previously unseen, a brand new species of snails. However, these were no ordinary garden variety snails. They were truly extraordinary, being translucent in nature. Belonging to the Zospium genus, these translucent snails inhabit the dark depths of the cave, making their home at a staggering depth of 3,200 feet below the surface. What's even more astounding is that these snails are completely blind, adapted to living in perpetual darkness. The discovery of these remarkable snails was no small feat. The cave itself is not your typical spelunking adventure. It's one of the deepest caves on Earth, ranking among the top 20. In such an extreme environment, it's no surprise that the explorers and biologists came across some rare and extraordinary creatures. As the team ventured deeper into the cave, collecting animal specimens along the way, they encountered a tiny snail like nothing they had ever seen before. They named this newfound species 
Zospium thalusum, and it was nothing short of extraordinary. The snail possessed a stunning translucent shell, resembling a delicate dome-shaped work of art. These snails, like their terrestrial relatives, move at a snail's pace, covering only a few millimeters or centimeters per week, often in circular patterns. They graze leisurely within the comfort of their cave abode. Upon examination by taxonomist Alexander Wigand in Germany, it was confirmed that this species was entirely new to the scientific world. The discovery of these translucent cave snails underscores the notion that there is a whole new world waiting to be unveiled deep within our planet, offering a glimpse into the remarkable adaptability and diversity of life in the most extreme and unexpected of places. 6. Oldest Bow and Arrow In a cave located in southwest Sri Lanka known as Fahian Lena, a team of explorers made a remarkable discovery that rewrote the history of archery. Dating back an astounding 48,000 years, this find represents the oldest evidence of archery technology in this region, and possibly across the entire Eurasian continent. The explorers, while digging in Fayan Lena Cave, unearthed arrowheads, but that was just the beginning. They also came across ornate decorative beads crafted from mineral ochre and marine snail shells. This discovery not only holds immense significance for South Asia, but suggests that it may be the oldest evidence of archery technology in Eurasia, shedding light on the advanced technological prowess of the people of that era. According to researchers, this discovery tells a compelling story about our early human ancestors. It reflects their remarkable ability to adapt to diverse environments and showcases the breadth of their toolkit. The projectile points they found, made from animal bones and mineral ochre, were an impressive 48,000 years old, but were discovered in a layer slightly younger, dating back around 14 years. What's fascinating is that the fashionable beads they uncovered were used in conjunction with the arrows, attached through a bow and arrow technique. This archaeological breakthrough challenges the conventional notion that human innovation and technological advancements originated exclusively in Africa and Europe. It underscores that regions like South Asia were also hubs of inventive techniques and pioneering technological achievements. The ancestors in Sri Lanka demonstrated an impressive level of innovation and resourcefulness, positioning them as early adopters of advanced technologies in archery. 5. Chauvet Cave France. A remarkable set of footprints discovered within a cave in France has unveiled a captivating narrative about the origins of human-dog companionship. These footprints, dating back a staggering 26,000 years, suggest that our connection with dogs might predate the last ice age, challenging the conventional belief that dog domestication occurred around 15,000 years ago. These footprints, found side by side, tell a story of a young child and a wolf or dog walking together through the cave. They traverse a distance of 150 feet and were remarkably preserved in hardened clay for millennia. The discovery of these footprints can be attributed to Jean-Marie Chauvet, the individual who bestowed the cave with its name. As we delve into this ancient narrative, we can vividly envision the scene. In the depths of Chauvet Cave, a Paleolithic child, estimated to be around 8 to 10 years old, explores the dark passageways with a wolf or dog as their companion. Evidence suggests that the child carried a torch, as a charcoal stain was discovered at a location where they paused to clean it. Yet, this revelation transcends a simple companionship between a child and a canine. It challenges our understanding of when and how dogs evolved to become humanity's best friend. Prior beliefs held that wolves began congregating around human settlements at the conclusion of the last ice age, ultimately leading to domestication. However, new archaeological findings and advanced DNA testing present a different narrative. According to contemporary theories, humans and dogs co-evolved, with the ancient footprints in Chauvet Cave serving as evidence that our relationship with dogs extends much further into the past. Instead of humans taming and breeding wolves, it seems that our bond with dogs was constructed on mutual benefits and respect. The cooperation between early humans and wolves or dogs likely emerged from shared social structures and hunting goals, as well as a profound understanding of each other's intentions and moods. The implications of this fresh insight are indeed fascinating. The concept that dogs were our companions and friends over 30,000 years ago provides an entirely new perspective on our shared history. The absence of dog or wolf images in the cave paintings may signify that these early wolf dogs held a unique symbolic significance for our ancestors, distinct from other animals. The age-old bond between humans and dogs transcends time, spanning thousands and thousands of years, and reveals the enduring companionship that has left an indelible mark on our collective history.
For Tenchuan, oldest wine, ever wine aficionados often claim that wine only improves with age. But what if you stumbled upon what could possibly be the oldest wine ever discovered? In a captivating cave in Sicily, researchers uncovered something completely unexpected, shedding light on the ancient roots of winemaking in Italy. This discovery challenges our prior understanding of the origins of winemaking. The evidence suggests that wine production was thriving in Italy over 6,000 years ago, far earlier than previously believed. It wasn't merely the cultivation of grapes that they stumbled upon. It was the actual residue of wine. The researchers struck gold when they found five organic samples of wine in terracotta jars from the Copper Age. These jars had been carefully preserved in a limestone cave on Sicily's southwest coast for centuries, dating back to the fourth millennium BCE. But how did they ascertain that this was indeed wine? The presence of tartaric acid and its salt, known as cream of tartar, were the crucial components that offered confirmation. These elements are integral to the wine-making process and are commonly found in grapes. This discovery carries significant implications. It represents the earliest known evidence of wine residue in prehistoric Italy. Previously, scientists believed that wine-making in Italy commenced around 1200 BC, following the colonization by the ancient Greeks. However, this find pushes that date back by an astounding 3,000 years, effectively rewriting history. This revelation provides us with a glimpse into the rich heritage of winemaking that has evolved over the centuries. Sicily, already renowned for its wine production, can now proudly assert an even more ancient wine culture, adding to the legacy of this storied land. 3. Israel's Cave of Horror The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls is indeed a fascinating ongoing archaeological endeavor. These ancient texts, texts anciens, which were not found all at once but as fragments over the years, provide valuable insights into history and religion. In 2021, new scroll fragments were discovered in a cave in Israel known as the Cave of Horror which had a grim history. The cave earned its unsettling name in the 1960s when the bodies of 40 Jews who were killed by Roman soldiers in the second century were found there. In 2021, researchers revisited this cave, and along with new Dead Sea Scroll fragments, they discovered the mummified remains of a young girl who lived around 6,000 years ago. The new scroll fragments found in the cave are written in Greek, but they contain the name of God, written in Hebrew. These scrolls are believed to have belonged to Jewish rebels who hid in the cave after their revolt against Roman rule was suppressed in the second century. The fragments include verses from the books of Zechariah and Nahum, which are part of a collection known as the Book of the Twelve Minor Prophets. The discoveries in the Cave of Horror weren't limited to scroll fragments. Archaeologists also found rare coins from the time of the Jewish revolt and an intact basket that dates back approximately 10,500 years. Accessing the cave was no easy feat, as it is located about 260 feet beneath the clifftop, requiring repelling teams to access it. The efforts to protect these caves from looters and to continue uncovering the secrets of the past, one scroll fragment at a time, provide an exciting archaeological adventure in the Judean desert, yielding valuable historical insights. 2. De Crystallized Sacrifice Human Crystallisé the archaeological site in Belize, known as Aktun Tunichil Muknal, or the Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre, is a place of historical significance and intriguing discoveries. This cave is not an ordinary one. It was used for sacrificial rituals, with human remains and ceremonial artifacts found within its chambers. As you explore the cave, you'll come across skeletons lying among ceremonial items and decorations. Some of the skeletons were placed on altars, and they vary in age, from young children to adults, some even exhibiting unusual skull shapes. One of the most notable discoveries in the cave is the remains of a 17-year-old, initially mistaken for a female due to their appearance. This individual met a particularly brutal end, with their bones completely covered in calcium crystals, giving them an eerie, sculpture-like appearance. The cave has been dated back to a period from around 250 AD to 909 AD, and it was believed by the ancient Maya to be a place of importance where gods associated with agriculture and rain resided. They believed that sacrificing humans in the cave would please these deities. Although human sacrifice is a thing of the past, visiting this cave is still a challenging and spine-tingling adventure. To access it, you must be in good physical shape to navigate the cave's passages and swim your way to the entrance. Additionally, only two tour operators are allowed to guide visitors to this national monument. If you're up for a thrilling adventure and are prepared to witness some spine-chilling sights while receiving a memorable history lesson, Aktun Tunichil Muknal 
is a place you might want to explore. 1. An Axe Murderer The case of Joseph Henry Lovelace is a fascinating and gruesome historical mystery. In 1916, Lovelace was suspected of axe murdering his wife, Agnes. While in jail, he managed to escape by using a saw blade hidden in his shoe. He vanished without a trace. In 1979, a family made a disturbing discovery in Buffalo Cave, Idaho. They found a headless torso in a burlap sack. Twelve years later, in 1991, a matching hand was found nearby. Further searches uncovered the missing legs and one arm. Eventually, they decided to perform a DNA test on the remains after 18 years of investigation, and it was confirmed to be Loveless. Remarkably, Loveless's own grandson, who was nearly 90 years old at the time, provided his DNA to confirm the identity. The circumstances surrounding Loveless's death remain uncertain. Some speculate that Agnes's family, driven by vengeance, may have tracked him down and administered their own form of justice. However, the exact details of Loveless's grisly end are still unknown. The story of Loveless serves as a reminder of the mysteries that continue to be uncovered, even in unexpected places like caves. The exploration of caves around the world contributes to our understanding of our planet's history and the boundaries of life, making cave exploration a field of ongoing importance and discovery.